Hey everyone, Modsai here, or as you know me on Reddit, more drugs, more threesomes. Uh, here to show you how to set up your SD2 Vita adapter. Um, yeah, so let's get started. What you're gonna need is, of course, a Henkaku PS Vita, uh, an SD2 Vita adapter, of course, some sort of SD card. Uh, I got a 64 gig uh, SanDisk here. It doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, from my testing, I've gotten maximum of about 8 megs a second. 8 megabytes, not bits. Uh, and then you'll also need some sort of adapter for your computer. I got my janky, janky little adapter I've had forever. Uh, you can even see the little solder points there. I tried to, tried to fix this many, many years ago. But, uh, well, anyways. Uh, so... And then from there, well, you'll also need uh, what I got in the description, um, which is Win Disk Win32 Disk Imager plus a an image file called the ZZ Blank, which will write zeros to your SD card. Uh, so if you have any information on your SD card, please back it up because this will delete it. Um, you'll also need the game the game SD uh, SPRX. Um, sorry. Lost my train of thought. The, the game SD uh, dot SK PRX, uh, that's the driver that will make the software work, which I'll show you where to put that. Um, the one I recommend is the one that mounts your memory card, your, your new SD card uh, to UX0, which is the main memory card and mounts the old uh, Vita memory card to UMA0, which is just basically an other kind of thing. I think for PSTV it's used for USB devices, but um, so you can still use both. Uh, otherwise you can mount the SD Vita to UMA0 and the SD card stays at UX0. It's up to you. I personally want to use uh, my new one uh, as UX0, my new SD card as UX0 because, you know, for obvious reasons, but it's up to you, your preference. So, uh, uh, you also need FileZilla because we're going to be FTPing to your uh, to your Vita, as well as Wi-Fi, I suppose. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first off, go onto your Vita, of course, and we'll FTP into it. So go to Molecular Shell, there we go. And then make sure that you have uh, uh, configured, make sure that you have um, uh, enable unsafe homebrew so you can get to other other uh, other folders and other partitions. Uh, we're gonna start off by hitting select and we're gonna get our IP address uh, so we'll go up to FileZilla here. Ah, there we go. So we'll go like that. Sorry I have a really terrible camera that has manual stuff so there we go. Okay. So we'll enter in the IP address you see there. You have to be connected to your Wi-Fi, obviously, in order to do this. So mine is 10.1.10.0.44. Leave the username and password blank. Oh, can see it. There we go, right there. Leave username and password blank. Then port is 1337, the way I like to remember that is it's late. Ha 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 ha. Quick connect you'll see a list of all your partitions pop up. And then what you'll want to do from here is go into your UX0 and copy everything into a folder on your local disk, because we'll be copying that to our, um, to our new SD card. Um, I already went ahead and did that, so I'm not gonna do that here. Uh, and then the other thing you want to do is go to U UR0, there we go, and then uh, tie, and then you'll see a bunch of files pop up here. and you want to go to wherever you put your uh, .skprx, whichever one you decided you wanted. Um, gotta find it. One second. Uh, it's all wonky. Here it is. Okay, so I have my .skprx right here. Your game SD .skprx. Go ahead and throw that in your UR0 dot uh, skprx so i have i have that already in there um but i'll, I'll go ahead and overwrite it because i'm a i'm a thug like that that's uh, that's what people call me mr thug anyways so uh from there we are ready to configure our sd card so we can get out of filezilla i'm gonna just minimize it for now um, and what we're going to do is take our sd card and plug it into our computer. There we 
go. So, start up your newly installed Win32 disk imager. That'll start up here. There we go. And we got our ZZ blank here, so uh, make sure that you select uh, your, your disk image that you just, or not your disk, uh, disk image, your disk that you just put in. Uh, I see that that's D here, so we'll find our image again, which is down here in our ZZ blank. All right. So then uh, make sure you have everything backed up and go ahead and write your file. Yes. Cool. Next, take it. Take your uh, SD card, unplug it, and then guess what you're going to do next? You're just going to go ahead and plug it right back in. Boom. And then it will ask you to format the disk. So what you do here is you click Format, and you will want to not put anything in the volume label. Do not do that. Do not do that little cross through it. Uh, keep it at XFAT, change this to default allocation size, quick format, and then start. And OK. Boom, format complete. Great. Moving right along. We got that all good to go. Unplug it one more time and plug it back in. I just like to do that for good measures. I don't think that you have to do that, but I do it. Uh, now what you want to do is you'll want to go to your backup. I have mine saved in my documents. There we go. And you'll want to copy everything from your original memory card over to your new memory card. So I'll take a second, throw that in there, and copying everything over. Boom. All right, we're good to go. So we'll go back down to the Vita now. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right, and now we need our SD to Vita adapter. I guess I used a different card, but whatever. Whatever, it works. There we go. So go ahead and plug that into your adapter. Wrong way. Nope, that was, that was the right way. Okay. Plug it in until you hear the click. And now uh, I would like to show you how to get it in there. Um, if you feel the adapter hit a spring, then you know you're doing it wrong. So I'll try and hit a hit a spring to show you guys. Uh, it can be a little tricky getting it in there at first. All right, yeah, so here you can see it's kind of springing out a little bit. You don't want it to do that. So uh, in order to fix that, just uh, rotate it up and down like that, and it will uncatch itself from the mechanism, and it should just slide right in. Boom. Uh, again, you do not want it to be hitting the springs because this does not latch onto the springs. Uh, so there we go. We're in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart my Vita real, real quick. Okay, there we go. And I'll show you guys from start to finish the process. Zoom in on the screen here. There we go. Okay, so it will not work right away. Uh, we need to muck around in the config text, so I'll go ahead and load up Henkaku. Sorry, I'm a little getting a little sick, I think. No bueno. Alright, so we'll start right up, of course. And we'll get kicked back. Alright, so now go to your molecular shell. And the first thing we're going to want to do, uh, we start off in UX0 here, uh, go down to tie, and uh, there should be a config uh, text here. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and delete that, uh, just delete the config text, because uh, what this will do, uh, the, 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 when, uh, when, when Hankaku initializes, it, uh, it, go, it goes to this, uh, this tie first, uh, this config, and we don't want it to do that. Uh, we want it to load from the internal storage so that it can load up our SD card. So, uh, delete that once you're done. Uh, move up to go press OO and then go to UR0. Then go down to tie. And then config text. And make sure you have your game sd.skprx there. Go up to config text. And I'll see if I can zoom in closer here. So where it says kernel, you're going to want to go down to kernel, and then here, I'll try and move back now. Kernel, so you uh, and then you hit X, and it will bring up a uh, an editor, and uh, you're going to want to do line break, and then enter in this code. It will be in uh, it will be in 
the description as well. Uh, you want UR, uh, not capital, you just want a regular, UR, zero. Actually, I have it right here. UR, so go ahead and pause if you'd like. UR colon tie slash game, oh, it's not game card, actually. It's game SD. That's my bad. Game SD dot SKP, SK, come on, there we go, SK. PRX. There we go. And then you want to get it hit. Uh, don't hit uh, O now because that will get rid of your. Uh, or uh, yeah, don't hit uh, O right now because that will get rid of your progress. You want to hit the down. And then from here, you want to hit O. And it will ask you to save. You'll want to save. And uh, there we go. So from here, restart your Vita. Restart it one more time. And we should hypothetically be good to go. Oh, damn, I need water. I think I am actually getting sick. Blech. Gross. Alright, starting back up. There it is. That startup will soon be gone with Enso. Hype for that. I'm real excited about that. Okay, now restart Henkaku. And if you'll know if it, if it works, if it stops at uh, right there, if it stops at starting Tai Hen, uh, you know you did it right because it's switching over to the uh, game card adapter. So uh, we have a successful install. Yay! We did it, team. So uh, to, in order to get out of the screen, just hit the power button and then hit it again and you'll be kicked out. And in order to show you that it is working, I'll do a couple things. Go boot. Sorry, my stupid camera just quit for whatever reason, but whatever. Okay, so uh, we know it worked. Yay! Uh, yay! Go to your uh, mole mole uh, molecular shell or your Vita shell, whichever you want. Start it up, and you'll see that the Vita memory uh, game game card light will light up when you're accessing, and then you can go to UX0. And uh, let me focus that, and boom, there it is. We got 59... 0.68 gigs on the SD card. So uh, yeah, that's from A to Z how to do it. Uh, I'll try my best to answer any questions uh, that I can. Uh, otherwise, leave comments, try and help each other out, because uh, if I can't get to all of them, all the comments, uh, I'll try my best. But I'm only one guy doing a lot of, a lot of things. So um, yeah, have a good day, night, morning, whatever you are, and uh, peace.